have a whole lot of these left in my career, so I'm very thankful that you came up and asked me. I really, greatly really appreciate it. What are you going to do? You're staying in, obviously. What's the goal? What are you going to do? Um, do my 20 years. How many years you got left to 20? Uh, six. Six? Or five something. Five something? Until you put on an anchor. <laughs> <laughs> That's always the thing. Oops. All right, now I got some more time. Okay, and then, um, so talk to me a little bit about your career up until this time. So, what have you done? Um, my first uh, duty station sir, was in Ruby Island, BP-134, Prowlers. Yeah, um, Prowlers, old school. Yes, sir. Not, um, not Growlers. No. <laughs> Did my first uh, deployment in background Afghanistan. Cool. Yeah. And then I went to uh, Yokota Air Force Base in Japan. Yokota? Duty. Yeah. And then, after that, I went to USS Wayne Meyer. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Yakota has an amazing wood work shop. Oh, I love that wood. Yeah, I, was in there. <laughs> I made, like, I think two change command gifts in that wood work shop. Yeah. Um, so why are you staying? Besides besides making your 20, besides whatever, first of all, why'd you join? And then second, why are you staying? Um, I joined because um, I wanted to travel, just to get out. Um, I, I didn't think that, you know, school was for me. Yeah. So I joined, get to travel a lot. What's next? Um, What's next for you? So if you stay in, are you staying here or? Uh, I actually just got paid for orders in Rota Space. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm Far East right to <laughs> Med. Rota's busy right now. Yeah. Yeah, Israel, the whole thing is going yeah. on. Rota's busy. Uh, but their sangria is pretty sweet, I think. <laughs> I think I had a nice, a nice picture of sangria overlooking that bay. Uh, Rota is beautiful, especially coming up this time of year in the spring. So you will enjoy it when you get there. Uh, my PRD, so okay. I don't have a hard time with You and I are leaving at the same time. <laughs> my PRD is a Sith land. Well. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, and then you join the Navy um, to see the world. You got a chance to do that. You're going to do a little bit more of that. And then uh, what kind of advice do you have for these folks who are trying to decide, probably in the back of their minds, whether they're going to stay or not? Um, well, it's not for, of course, it's not for everybody, but like, you know, um, I've been fortunate to, to work with uh, good people and get to uh, a lot of uh, good places. So if you think that you know you can do it, stay. You know, it's not always greater than that. You know. See, speaking deep. <laughs> okay, now unfortunately, now it's your turn. So for those that are here, you cared enough to be here today. That's a pretty that's a big deal. You could have said, yeah, 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 I'll be there, and then don't show up. It happens all the time, right? And you guys were all here, which means how much you care about him. So, uh, why are you glad he's staying in? I mean, it doesn't have to be a long speech, but is there anything that hits your hits your mind, tip of your tongue right now? You're like, yeah, I'm glad he's staying in because. Let's go. You're smiling already. Let's go. He's going to be seven years old. This is what you It matters. The, uh, the first class petty officer is a technical expert. Go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say, you know, he cares about the, the mission or the job, but he also cares about the people. You know, he's, he's great. I love working beside him. That is huge praise, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anybody else? Mustache? Yes. Yes, sir. Why not, sir? Uh, we need people who are 49ers fans. We can make fun oh. of them. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody here a Cowboys fan? Cause let's just get that out of the way right now. <laughs> 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 <It's> definitely <laughs> 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 That's from a Cowboys fan? <laughs> Man, the memes Jordan has two in a row, sir. Brutal. <laughs> the memes have been brutal. <laughs> okay. This laughter right here is why I stayed in for 27 years. Man, you can get outside the Navy and get yourself in your cubicle and hate your life. Um, one quick story about my family. So my dad was a professional musician on the Strip in Vegas. He was uh, the fastest lamp hand of the Strip in the 60s and 70s. Lounge Act of the Year in 1978. Uh, Hammond P3 organ, keyboards, played behind Sammy Davis, and Margaret, all, all the bigs. And the musician strike hit 81. So I was born in 75, shut up. I was born in 75. <laughs> My sister was born in 77, and um, so we had two little ones at home, actually three, because he adopted my half brother. And when the musician strike hit, he had to decide I got to feed the family. And so he got out of music, which was his first love, and he was really good at it. To uh, be a life insurance salesman. Do you want to do that? No. 
So I grew up my whole life living commission. Like, he gets a commission, we, we eat pizza that week. He doesn't get a commission, we eat hot dogs that week. And uh, it was a tough life. He had a, no, I'm not saying this for sympathy, but he died homeless and an alcoholic because he didn't do what he loved. So the laughter you guys had here and the care you have for each other, when you're trying to make a decision whether you're staying in or go, that's, that's got to be one of the decisions. Because when you get out, you might make a whole lot more money. Talk to those who are working at Amazon right now during the holiday season. They're making a lot of money. Especially as LS, as you know. We can probably know what they're doing, though. Right? And uh, dang it, I don't think I want to do that job. But when it comes down to the fight that's happening in the Eastern Mediterranean, uh, uh, I don't know if you guys have seen the news. Uh, the Chinese Navy just rammed two Filipino ships. And the, Na and the U.S. Navy came out overtly, finally. It said, based on our treaty with uh, uh, the Philippines, we will protect them against another ramming. So you know what's bubbling now, right? That's, that is real logistics. That's, you know, being prepared for war, getting the things that we need to get there against people trying to stop it using weapons. So that's the deal. So uh, I'm glad you're staying because we need experts. We need people that care about people um, because they won't do their job. They don't know you or you don't care about and, uh, and I don't know where you are on your career. I don't know. I haven't done a, a record review, but I hope that the Chiefs in your, in your future, and if you do put that anchor on, please let me know. I, that's who we need in the mess, right? Okay, so that's the speech stuff. We're going to make him speak at the end. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to discharge him. We're going to allow him to talk while he's out of the Navy. I'm going to stand over here so we don't have it on film. <laughs> probably won't say anything, but if you do, you can say whatever you want. And then um, and then we'll we'll bring him back in the Navy. And I got a couple of gifts for you uh, just because you gave me the honor of Okay, you ready? Attention to discharge. Honorable discharge from the Armed Forces of the United States of America, the Certified Logistics Specialist, First Class, Air Warfare and Surface Warfare, uh, Kevin A. Mascadilla. Dang it. <laughs> Was honorably discharged from the United States Navy on the 23rd day of October 2023. Certificates, orders, testimony of honest faith and service signed by me. Kind of pause. Okay, by the way, this is like, this is actually kind of a big deal. Getting an honorable discharge from the United States Navy is a big deal. And so you've had a couple of these because you keep getting realistic, but you keep coming back in. So you're a boomerang. Okay? I, everything else is signed, so I don't need any of that stuff. All right, now that you're out of the Navy, you got anything to say? <laughs> All right, let's get on my, uh, this should be my last management. Oh, so thank you guys for Bless coming. Let's make Chief. <laughs> 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 So thank you guys for coming. Thank you, sir, for being my uh, Thank you for giving me the honor. Okay, attention to re-enlistment. Okay, let's go. How do you want us? What's the best? Let's put this, is a, this is a good light right here. So, All right. yeah. Insta ready. Ready? Raise your right hand and feed up. Me. You're videoing it, right? Uh, yes. State your name. Hi, I'm Kevin Mark Connelly. You solemnly swear. swear. To support the family. To support the family. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution Against all enemies. Foreign and domestic. I'll bear true faith and allegiance to the same. I'll obey the orders of the President of the United States and the orders of the officers appointed over me, according to the Uniform Code of Military Justice and Navy regulations. So, again, congratulations. That's awesome. I almost paused it because I heard, are you videoing? And I was like, <laughs> Actually, really in. One, two, three. I do have to sign some stuff. Okay, so here's what I got for you. Okay, one, um, someone out in town who uh, makes these custom pens so that we can, uh, we have these custom pens just to say thank you and, uh, and that we give them out for re enlistments. Um, so these are like $65 pens. We got the, we got the, um, jag to buy off on it as long as we give it to someone for uh, doing an amazing event like a real estate. So hand carved, hand turned, and it says thank you around the barrel. 
sure beats the U.S. Navy thank you for re-enlisting pen. <laughs> okay, didn't know that was happening. Maybe I'll get some more re-enlistments, especially after this next one. Okay, so um, in the Navy, um, especially naval aviation, luck is a thing. It just is. And so if you don't talk good to your helicopter, sometimes the helicopter don't start. Um, you don't talk to your helicopter well and pat her on the, on the dashboard sometimes. <laughs> she stops and that's even worse than not starting and so um, we always carry around things for luck. I was born and raised in Las Vegas because my dad was a lounge jack. Uh, my mom is for every reenlistment and I'm missing one. I gotta get you one there shit mate. Um, uh, my mom has given me a uh, good luck charm from Vegas. Okay so my mom's old Vegas. She was a Kino operator back in the 1970s and so for her luck is if you get it are you getting an SO, SOB? Okay you are getting one from me so it's a lucky chip. That's a real chip. If you get down to your last 50 bucks, <laughs> throw it on the Niners. Yes. Thank you guys for coming for my uh, last enlistment, like I said. <laughs> <laughs> Second to last.